everyone. We hope you're well. Today we're going to do this uh, chocolate brownie mix. That's uh, from Little that is. Now I'll just tell you what happened yesterday we needed to get some bits sorted out because we've got a little visitor today and we needed some bits of shopping. So I said to Wendy, well, there's the butchers that we go to, so we went there. And then I said to her, let's go and have a look in Lidl. Now, we went to Lidl for some time while, uh, a while ago, um, when we were working. But after a couple of days, the fruit and that had always gone off. So we had to change shop. And Wendy says, yeah, we go to Lidl and it's warm in there. And then we go down the road to Morrison's and it's freezing in there to zip your coat up. So we thought, well, <laughs> that's really why we stopped going there. So what we thought is, let's let's go and have another look. Yeah, we've not we've been in times for bits and bobs. We thought let's go and do a bit of shopping there. Anyway, mate, it's so cold in there. Oh we're hypothermic. God, it was freezing in there. I know it's been warm outside and they need the air conditioning on. But that's an advantage, I think, for us because, as I say, the fruit used to go off. And I think that was half the problem. They never had the uh, air conditioning on. But anyway, I know that's a bit beside the point. But it's, it's something that we, well, Wendy that noticed, really. She said it's never cold in here and it is in Morrison's and Tesco. So uh, whether they've learnt something, I don't know. But anyway, let's get on with it, Graham. You're messing around, aren't you? Um, I, I don't know how I'm going to tell Wendy. I've got a new love in my life. Look, see those little glass bowls? Look, they're beautiful, aren't they? How can you be in love with a glass bowl? That's so sad. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they're lovely. And they look the business, don't they? Even got the lip on, look. Lovely. And these as well. These are great. Anyway, come on, Grant. Get on with it. What are we doing? Right, now this is chocolate brownie mix. Wendy had a look round little and we were going to buy the chocolate, the cocoa. You know, we've got some flour. We need the eggs. And we're looking all round. Wendy says, look at this. She spotted it on the shelf. She said, look, there's a brownie mix here. 79 pence she said let's let's go for that fair enough i'm happy with that and we had i had a look and it, and it says all you actually need is the water i don't know whether that's in the shot i don't think it is let me pick it up all you need to add is that in focus is one egg uh the water and the oil we may as well look at this while we're at it. They're not going to be good, are they? Sugars and saturates. I mean, they're going to be red, aren't they? The chocolate brownies, you can't avoid that. Um, look at the weight. 284 grams. Mate, we've had meals for two where that's at the weight they are. 200, 284 grams, you know, and it's just... That's another story. They're not big enough. But anyway, this is to make... Uh, to make nine brownies look I think you can see that there as I say 79p if it works you can't go wrong but we'll give it a go and find out we've got the own little sign on there um yeah so what does it actually say on there let me put the bag down a second because I've got another bag to read because it was 79p we went crazy and bought two um, it says all you need is one egg, which we've got, 30 millilitres of uh, vegetable oil. Now that's two tablespoons. Let me show you the tablespoon. So, now these are wet through, look, I've just thrown them in the sink. That's our measure, look, 15 millilitre, one tablespoon. So two tablespoons of oil. And then 45 millilitres of water. So that's three tablespoons of water. So it's, it's simple enough. Um, we're trying to make it easy, not complicated. And it says, mix it with a spoon. I had a spoon in my hand. I've got a spoon out. We'll mix it with a spoon the way it says. 
but I've got the spatula out because no I'm using the spatula come on because you can get it out better with a spatula you really can um, it says use an 18 centimeter tray and that's what these are measure 18 centimeters across the bottom so they're perfect now I put margarine in the bottom and then thought I think we should use a paper lining because if it sticks you can peel it off can't you so I put a paper lining in there baking paper and I think that work right so let's get let's get it mixed up I think I've told you everything I don't think there's anything I've missed more than likely there is something I've missed there usually is isn't there yeah as I say we're cold in little I got home I just couldn't get warm I says to Wendy I'm, I'm absolutely freezing I had to um I had to have a sleep in the afternoon and try and get wrapped up. I had a blanket around me. God, mate, it's been ever so warm. <laughs> and I was absolutely freezing. It's embarrassing. I shouldn't tell you, should I? Right, now all it says, as I, I read on it there, I did I read it to you? Maybe not. It says, wash your hands. Yeah, about three or four times already. And after making a... a before and after making the mixture, of course you do. Empty the brownie mix into the mixing bowl. Add the egg, the water and the oil. Using a spoon, mix together all the ingredients to form a lumpy mixture. Spoon the mixture into a prepared tin. Now, Wendy says, yeah, don't go crazy mixing it. So I'm not going to. Um, it did mention egg first, but I don't suppose it makes any difference. But what we'll do, I'll break the egg in here. Just to see. Oh yeah, use one that's not big enough, Graham. <laughs> you fool. I think actually, this is a large egg. <laughs> right. Well, that was a good start. What made me do that? I could have used the one with the oil, couldn't I? Let me just get a bit of kitchen towel over that. That was just a stupid mistake, wasn't it? That'll have to be cleaned up properly. It's egg, isn't it? Mind you, one thing, with this baking mat, it's so easy to clean things. It's fantastic. It's got it up, but we'll just put that there for now. Right, we've got the egg in there. Get the water in there. I could have put it in there, look, couldn't I? Save all that trouble. Get the oil in. Then, all it says is just mix this up. And it says you don't have to go crazy. You know, just like mix it together to a lumpy mixture. I, know, I don't know, but does everybody else find this bit soothing? I quite like, you know, a lot of cakes we use the whisk and everything, don't you? But this is quite relaxing. Nice and quiet, look. Nobody bothering me. Mixing me cake. Look at that. If it works out, we're going to be all right. But who knows, eh? Who knows? Anything can happen. As you well know. Now, I've got no intentions of pre-eating the uh, cassori. But we have actually used it. So it is warm. Now, how much difference that will make. But it, as I say, it is already warm. And it says, just get that mixture into there. Now, it says spoon it in. 
not sure why maybe so you can spread it out let's just have a go let's put a bit of a blob in each corner for a start We just want to make it as even as we can. I don't think there's any need to go crazy. <clears throat> oh dear, still suffering with hay fever. There's no getting away from grass hay fever this time of year. Well, to be honest, the best answer is go and sit by the sea that seems to help no end but then <laughs> that helps everybody don't it it's not just a fever it's a cure for most things that is isn't it sit looking at the sea mate you forget everything um let's just get as much of this out as i can don't want to waste any do we or at 79p Now, we do know the cassore tends to pull things into the middle, doesn't it? It does. It like lifts it up and cracks it in the middle with a lot of cakes. It, it's just one of them things. So, some bits there, that didn't look quite mixed, but I think what it is, it's just the chocolate. It's just the uh, chocolate in the, in the mix. Let's, uh, right, we're going to spread this out. I'm not leaving it hollow in the middle, that's not what I mean. But we don't want, I want to make sure there's enough at the sides. Only from the uh, little bits I've learnt in the past, it does tend to lift it in the middle. I'm not sure if I read that on the packet, but it says do it at... Uh, 160 for 20 minutes so right I think that'll do let's just get this bit off here there we go there we go right let's just get the cassori out as I say this is it's not yeah, that's still warm. So we'll lift that in. There we go. And because we've had it on, it is switched in, switched on and plugged in. Because I forget that, don't I? I unplug it, I always do. Um, right, let's uh, switch it on there. And we'll go and bake. And we'll go 160, 20 minutes. Bang on. Let's just go for it. Right. I'll bring you back when there's something to show you. Yeah, I know this is neither here nor there, but I've got some nice hot water here on my sponge. Give it a good wipe all over. Look at that. It's matte, honestly. It's fabulous. I do feel we should be on commission with this mat because since I've had this mat to uh, me, it's, it's made such a big difference. It not only gives a little bit of protection because we're on top of the cooker here. By the way, we always turn the cooker off at the plug. There's no way it's coming on. We don't want that disaster. Um, but this mat, look at that. Even you get covered in flour and everything and it just comes off it's so good i know that's not really anything to do with the uh, baking but that's just how easy it is brilliant right time's up it's had its 20 minutes at 160 and the oven was preheated that looked perfect well whether it is is a different story now let's just get me, uh, let's get me Philip and me Rosemary out to lift this out. 
Oh, can you put that back in for me, Wendy? Let's put this down here. There we go. Now, chocolate brownies are a bit gooey, aren't they? And somehow this really wants lifting onto the tray. That's why we've used the paper. Have we been clever? Have we been stupid? Oh, can you just move that, Wendy? Anything else moving? Yeah. We might as well do something. <laughs> I bet she'll want some of the chocolate brownie. Don't you worry about that. Hey. Eh? We're doing oh, this. We're I doing this because Spencer's coming, the little I don't, kid. But I don't know if you'll get. He might not get looking. Right, we're going to let that cool now, uh, and then uh, we'll come back to you. But if this video has been of any use to you, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to comment, I'll get back to you. But uh, that's mm. well, don't poke it about. Oh, that thing. It's because the paper's gone. Oh, no. Touched on the paper a bit too red. We're all living and learning. There, aren't if we? that's nine slices, it's supposed to be nine slices. It's They're a not bit. going to be very big, are they? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, but you know what we're like. We're a bit greedy. Anyway, <laughs> I'll bring you back when we've it's cooled down and we've had a bit of a taste. <sighs> right, I've just brought you back because Wendy's just put this um, chocolate brownie onto a plate. Look, and she says. We'll put some snow on it as well. Look at that, eh? Snow as well. You can tell it's the grandson coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, it does look nice. That's all right. Now, you may think it makes nine pieces. There looks a lot there, don't they? Yeah, the reason is we bought two packs. Now, we have actually done it twice because the first pack, I didn't put a paper liner in the tray. And in one part, it just stuck. Um... The second one with a paper liner worked perfect. Let me show you what I mean. Yeah, I thought I'd just mention, although this stuck, there was nothing wrong with it. It tasted great, mate. We've had good lumps out of there. The bits that come out okay, we've cut them up and put them on the plate. But look at them little bits shouting, come on, eat me. So me and Wendy have been picking at that, and they're lovely. This has worked out a tree. 79 pence, well, actually... You could say 160, couldn't you? Because we bought two packs. But uh, that's worked out really well. We're happy with that. We'll see what they think. There you go. You see what I mean? It's stuck all along that back edge, look. And here in the middle. Now, we're not quite sure why exactly. So the, well, I did the second one with a paper liner. That come out perfect. Well, I showed you. Well, I could have showed you the other one, except... Some fool can't work the camera again, and I've lost... <laughs> oh, God, mate, I'm deadly. I lost a load of the files. So we had to make it again anyway. But as I say, that first one... See why I use a paper liner, look? That come out as clean as a whistle. This one, it were like something to a blanket. Oh, dear, I shouldn't say that. Anyway, we're not trying to hide anything here, are we? Look, you get the disasters as well, <laughs> as, well as when it works. Never mind, eh? Well, all there really is for me to say now is enjoy yourselves. If you get some of this cake, you will. Hey, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.